Hey yo, what's going on y'all? So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is installing this Exidy clutch kit. This is gonna be for the master and slave cylinder because in my car, I developed a sticky clutch pedal. I'll show y'all what I mean by that. So if you hear that, it sounds like the uh, master cylinder is leaking back into itself. And once you pull up the, uh, you release the clutch pedal, you can hear some noise coming in. That right there. I was told that that's the uh, fluid leaking back into the master cylinder. But, you know, if you push it down like normal and dump the clutch, it's fine. So, what we need to do, I guess what I need to do is replace the master. I already replaced the slave cylinder and that didn't help my issue. So. What I ended up doing was picking up the Exidy kit to replace the K-Tune kit that I have. So in here, I'll go ahead and unbox this wheel. We have the master cylinder. Along with that, I'm gonna be replacing my brand new K-Tune slave cylinder with this one that came in the kit. This is pretty simple. You're gonna take this, push that into this hole, and that's how you'll line this up. And then this little piece, We'll go and cover this orifice that you use to bleed the system and yeah that's pretty much about it it's just the master the hose and the uh, slate cylinder so this is what you're going to get right out of the box the uh both the master cylinders for both kits they look uh somewhat the same uh, right here you have this banjo bolt and then right here you have this an fitting so make sure this bolt is tight this an fitting is tight you should be good. Aside from that, pretty much identical. Also in the kit, this plunger is not in the slave cylinder, so you have to put that in there. Just push that through that hole. Yeah, K-Tune one does feel a little nicer though. Give it that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and swap the whole thing out. So for those wondering, you can use the K-Tune slave with the Exidy Master. You know, just swap out this AN fitting with this one and that's how you run that combination. All right, the first thing that I'm gonna do is come down here and start removing the car side of the clutch. So you have that pin right there that you wanna take out and then you're gonna remove pin, this rod, and then those two bolts, and then we'll move under the hood. All right, so now that the easy part is out of the way, you're going to have your master cylinder all the way behind there, back there. All right, so you can kind of see it back there. So I already have the K-Tune setup, or this car already came with the K-Tune setup. But there's other detailed guides out there. You're gonna have, I believe, two or three of these style clips on the uh, brake line, and it should run somewhere along like that. And with the master cylinder removed, you can see that this is supposed to sit in there just like that. So take a note that this side is gonna to be towards the door from uh, the pedals, and then this flat side is gonna be facing the pedals. So door side, pedal side. All right, so we got the master torque down. This is gonna be a 12 mil wrench and a uh, 14 mil other wrench or socket. Make sure you put an adjustable down here. Tighten that down, because I doubt you're gonna have any room all the way back here. All right, so I thought this was gonna be very difficult to do, but it's actually not. So you have your tie rod right here. Just go underneath the tie rod, and then you have all the room to get back here where the master's at. So at first I was going over the tie rod, trying to squeeze my hand in through there. We just go underneath the tie rod, and you can get all the way to the master cylinder. So that's a little trick. Then you have all this hosing that you can route pretty much however. All right, so we got those two bolts in. This kind of roughly, I definitely should have put this hose on the master cylinder yep. before I stuck before it, in it in there. All right, so. Make sure you put this hose on the master cylinder before you shove it down in there because now I have to take that out, put that hose on there, and then put that back in. But pretty much got this braided line all right through here behind the fuse box. This is a K24, K20 swap, so 
it's gonna look a little different. But this is pretty much how it's gonna sit in there. Put that A in fitting right here. Put the two bolts in here, the longer one on the uh, right side and the shorter one on the left side. Be easier to get underneath the car and then have another hand put those bolts in there, but it's definitely doable from the top. So I'll come back once I remove the master cylinder again. All right, so we're getting ready to install the slave here. What I did to bleed this, still gonna have to bleed the whole system after it's all installed. Fill this up, pump the clutch a whole bunch of times. And then now you can see there's brake fluid leaking out of here. So you can do this with one person. It is easier with two people. One person goes to the bottom. You put this dowel, I believe it's called, on the clutch fork, push it in, line it up, person on the top, puts the bolts in, and that's pretty much it. Um, what else? Oh yeah, make sure the longer bolt goes on the driver's side, shorter one on the passenger side. And for the line going into the slave cylinder, the first B nut's gonna be a 13, that middle uh, actual nut is gonna be 14, and then the one to the slave, is going to be a 17 mil. And I ended up wrapping up the install on the RSX because it started raining, but make sure you line up the dowel with the clutch fork. And after that, install the bolts and that's pretty much it. Make sure you bleed the clutch, go take it for a test drive and you should be good. But that'll do it for this video on the Integra. I'll catch y'all in the next one later.